What's good, what's good, what is good, my size is we're back again with another video and today we will be installing the Trailer Hitch Class 3 by Kurt for the Ford F-150 that's standing right here. Well, wheeling right here, right? I don't know. Installing here? I don't know. I found this on Amazon for $127. I'll post that link down below. Uh, but let's get into it. Alright, so here this is, and I'm assuming all the nuts and bolts are right here, so let's cut this open. Children, don't try this at home without a parental guidance. How do I do this? You have to... So she couldn't figure out it. Oh my God, that's upside down. This is why they gave her the safety one. Move, move your hands out the way, can't please. Do this. Try yourselves. And here's the out. Be careful. So here's the package of the nuts and bolts. And then here's the rest of the hitch. Uh, I'm gonna call in some reinforcements because this is heavy. So my dad's gonna come and help me. Ow, daddy, I cut myself. All right, so now we have to lower the tire first. Then we have to remove the cord inside of it. So let's just imagine that this is attached, right? So you gotta take this keyhole, pop it open, and you gotta stick your ignition key in there to take it off. My dad broke it off because, well, it was actually a lot harder than it looked. But hopefully for you, it just works if you put your ignition key in there. Okay, you take your tool bag that, that you find in your truck, and there's a tube in here right there that you want to get your tool in that's what you said insert dirty comment this is a family friendly channel and yeah, shove that in oh, i just smacked myself in the face okay then you spin this counterclockwise all right so the next step is to remove this brown wire right here so this screw is a 10 millimeter you're going to be attaching the hitch to this front hole this back hole over here Ew. I just ate dirt. <laughs> Ew. Daddy, I don't want to do this anymore. Ew, <laughs> <Where are> Daddy. <laughs> Aaron taped the U washer to the first hole I showed you in the front, like so. And make sure your head's not directly below it, otherwise, you're going to be eating dirt. Screw the bolt on the wire. And you take a washer and feed it through the other way. And then you feed this through what we just did under the Stick the wire in the big hole. You gotta feed it to here. Now you gotta you gotta push the washer in first. You can't put the washer and the, the bolt yeah. on. Gotcha. Yay! Alright, so now what we're doing is we're feeding these two in from from, <laughs> from the big hole to this second hole over here. Curl the wire. <laughs> I'm in dirt range. Get out of dirt range. Feed your washer first. Wait, I'm in dirt shot. <laughs> <laughs> Please stay out of dirt shot. Literally doing the same thing on this side that we did on the other side. Boom, good, got it, good. Okay, so for this one, we're just gonna curl the wire. When you put the wire in, put your finger in that same hole to pin it up against this part right here so you can have easy access. See it? Then you just move the wire down with your finger. Good job, shish kebab. Who? <laughs> oh my god. Dirt shot. <laughs> So the next step is to put this up, but because I obviously don't have muscles, my father is going to come in muscle time. Muscle time! <laughs> <laughs> because this is more fun. You want to 
You want to set it on you. Oh wait, you can slide this slide. Shove the wire in there. Shove the wire in that one. It's important to get the wires fed first. Otherwise you're gonna fight it all down. Yeah, it's a little bit of jangly. <laughs> Cause you gotta shove the bolt back in. And pull it back there. So I pull some of the thread off. The wire thread. Long enough to still grab. Give me some room to put a couple wraps on. Yeah, just pull that off. Okay, got that one on. Take some of the wire off. I took the wire off this one. I won't push the nut back. There we go. Don't push the screw back. There we go. So we got the two backs in. Now we just gotta deal with the front. Feed that in there. there Set it down so it holds it itself. The way to hold the screw in place. Pull the wire. Don't want to make it tight. Just stay on. Got it through, set it down. There you go. So it rests on, doesn't push you back. So. Well, we got to tighten those up. All right, so we're supposed to torque these at 210. We'll have to go to AutoZone and get a torque wrench. But in the meanwhile, we're going to tighten it up with a 15 16 socket. This one in first before you start tightening that way you guys don't have any issues this is the ground bolt so be sure to tighten this too there you go all right so after you've gotten done tightening everything down you're going to put the spare tire back on your truck for the last step and after that happy towing if you like this video comment down below comment other things you should do be sure to smash the like button and smash the subscribe button now we're at it toodles